Hey you all, Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the north, more specifically Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I'm at the Carnegie Science Center. This is a science museum and I'm really excited about experiencing it. But the reason I came here, the thing that caught my attention is they have a robot hall of fame. This should be good. Follow me. All right, pack you for space. What do we need in space? Of course, we need our space shirt, our space gloves. We need some space food. Looks absolutely delicious. That's some space shaving cream. Because you can probably shave with this space Swiss Army knife. Oh, no, no, no. There, there's a toothbrush right there. Yeah, just like camping. Okay, we put that on there. Let me that. Oh. Oops, sorry. This is Jake the Star Globe. Apparently used to work in a planetarium, you know, making all those cool things on the ceiling. Some sort of space capsule. Okay, so I guess this is what it's like to be in a spaceship. There's the porthole where you can see space. There's the little glass coffin you sleep in. Oh, there's someone uh, floating up there. You see their, their equipment's floating as well. And, uh, you know, you gotta operate things in the, in the spaceship, turning knobs and whatnot. Keep everything running smoothly. All right, this is called H2O, Why Our Rivers Matter. These toilets have some fun facts on them. It says, many people use chamber pots for the indoor toilet. After filling the pot, these are typically dump the contents out the window into the street. Ah, to be alive in those times. Over here we have a delicious bath. Oh boy, this aquarium is full of massive, horrible cockroaches. Hey there, Mr. Turtle. What are you doing? Look at that big old fat lizard. Looks like Jabba the Hutt. Oh boy, we got our jars of fun here. All the things crammed in jars. Look at this. This jar is just stuffed full of frogs. So is that one. How many frogs do you really need in one jar? And here we have Robo World. Hey, robot? Well, even the people who create robots don't always agree. Most dictionaries say a robot is an automated machine that can be programmed to perform a variety of specific mechanical functions. And here is the Robot Hall of Fame. We have Maria, she is from the 1927 film Metropolis. Of course, through the great good old Gort from the uh, day the earth stood still. Klaatu Barata Nikto. Of course, Robbie the Robot from Forbidden Planet. He's the, he's the Danger Will Robinson one, isn't he? There is the Iron Giant from the film of the same name. Okay, this is B9. He was from uh, Lost in Space. He is the Danger Danger Will Robinson robot. I was mistaken, but it does say that, that him and Robbie were created by the same person. So I wasn't that far off. Is he laughing? Hal 9000, one of the most evil robots who gains control that iconic just red light the fact that he's just a singular red light is terrifying here's one i'm actually not familiar with this is dewey from a, from a film called silent uh running actually now that i think about it i do know who this is because the uh they, they they actually talked about this movie on six feet under and that's the only time i've heard of it and of course you can't have a Robot Hall of Fame without the two most famous buddy robots of all time, C-3PO and R2-D2. Only characters to appear in every Star Wars film. Oh, look at this thermal sensor right here. It's creating this thermal image of me. This is also good for ghosts, and I don't see any ghosts lurking 
at the moment. This radar is actually sensing where I currently am. As I move closer to it, it sees me coming. Oh, whiff. This robot is dunking baskets. Did not, uh, did not make that last one. I don't like his weird movements. I don't know who's I don't know who's controlling him. Here he goes, going for another basket. Can he make it? Come on, robot. I have faith in you. You can do it. Make the shot. Come on. What are you what are you even doing? There we go. Oh no. This robot is not good at basketball. Alright, let's give this robot one more chance at scoring a basket. All right, go for it, buddy. Can you do it? Oh, you got one. Good job. All right, we're going to chat with Macy here. Just type in commands into a keyboard and uh, she'll answer your questions, I guess. Do you understand? What? What is better? Red pandas or giant and uh, make sure we have a question mark. I put that another way. I think that was pretty straightforward. All right, now we're going to get the hard questions. Would you kill a person? Just, we weren't listening. Uh, this, we're not getting anywhere, Macy. I'm sorry. This is a spirophone. It's kind of a robotic piano. You put the keys down here, and then these play neat, beautiful music. All right, we're gonna have some human versus man as I take on this robot in the game of air hockey. Oh, what's he doing? All right. Oh, he's good. He's very good at this. Okay. What's he doing? What's he doing? Well, we tied zero to zero, showing that me and the robot are completely equally matched. There we go. Right, this cardboard train captain is inviting us into this miniature railroad exhibit. Well, who's that? That's Mr. Thomas the Train. Of course, this is Pittsburgh, so we got to have our steel mill here. Not sure what these, uh, not sure what these mechanisms are, but it looks like they are donkey power. Little village right here. Oh, that house is haunted. Got a baseball field right there. The train goes rolling on by. Really like this little town right here. Look at that old theater down there. Oh, you can see the lights are actually going on as it gets a little darker in here. Ooh, and we got a streetcar too. Look at that, we got a hot air balloon taking off into the sky. Got a little Frank Lloyd Wright house right there. This one's called Falling Water. We got a carnival at night. See the rides twirling and lit up. They even have a, a freak show over there and uh, what's that back there a little fun house the teacups some sort of dark ride right there oh look at that there's a Noah's Ark ride up there on the hill 
I know there is a Noah's Ark dark ride nearby Kennywood. You can see it very slowly rocking. It's a Grand Ship Hotel. It's like a boat themed hotel in the mountains. Here's the bodywork section, not to be confused with the exhibit that uses the real corpses of uh, Chinese prisoners. So, can operate this hook hand. Oh, yum. There's a uh, digestive system. This is a smoker's lung, and this is a non smoker's lung. It's various hearts. You got dog's heart. You got a human heart. And that big old thing is a big, delicious cow heart. And well, now we're getting a little grizzly. We got a human arm in here. And a human head. Look, his brain flew out. What does animal poop look like? I've seen quite a bit of animal poop. And I guess we'll the gray fox turd. This is a human turd. Oh, I hope that's not real. And uh, black bear. It's a big old turd. And a deer turd. Oh, they're like little pellets. What else do we got here? Skunk turd. I wonder if skunk turds smell as bad as skunks do. And then finally, a turkey turd. Looks like we can do our own ultrasound here. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's move this around. Oh look, you can see the little baby. Oh, can't tell if it's a boy or girl, but it's precious nonetheless. This is a skeleton uh, turning doorknob. When I turn the doorknob, the skeleton turns it as well. And of course, the most pressing scientific question here, why do I fart? Yes. Educational. Human body that you can explore. You move your hand along here and it shows you the different cross sections of the body. It looks like it looks like steak. That's that's all I can see. Okay, stand here and we can see what my insides look like. You can see, I'm not sure why my brain is in my elbow. Come on, this is my head. Okay. There you go, my brain's kind of in my head now. And then, let's see if we can change it to skeleton. Yeah, my skeleton is, is, is not in the right place. All right, I appreciate you guys joining me. All right, so that was the Carnegie Science Center, and more importantly, the Robot Hall of Fame. Although, I was honestly disappointed. My favorite robot did not make it to the Hall of Fame. Johnny Five in the Short Circuit movies. Come on, Carnegie Science Center. Where's Johnny Five? But anyways, thank you for coming along with me. If you'd like to see other places I've been, please check the interactive map down in the description. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider buying a t-shirt, consider donating to Patreon. A donation of $3 or more will get you a postcard uh, once a month. But for now, this one's in the bag.